Human trafficking is a reality that affects many of women, children and men in Namibia. This comment was made by the chairperson of the National Council, Honorable Margaret Menzo Williams. She said it is a big concern that people are being trafficked under our noses and as a council, they should amend bills that can help to protect not only Namibians but everyone in the world to feel safe when going to foreign countries for studying or jobs. Through the review and passing of this bill, we, will have, we would give government the tools it needs to protect and prosecute the criminals who profit from exploiting others. Honorable members, this bill has got some flaws. And we, as members of this August House, has got the responsibility to ensure that we amend this piece of legislation. In addition to what the National Assembly have already amended, we cannot have any bill dealing with modern day slavery, human trafficking, and we have options of people paying a penalty. Penalties are out. So we cannot go soft in this bill. We have to end this and we have to protect our citizens. We have to protect foreign citizens. We have to ensure that we have shelter. We have to ensure that we take care of any of these people when they end up in our countries, whether it is Namibians or whether it is foreign citizens. Mensa Williams said Namibia is both a destination and an exporter of victims of trafficking in persons. Making references to a story recently aired on One Africa Television, It's a Rap Show, that told the heartbreaking story of a Kenyan woman who was trafficked into Namibia for sexual exploitation and about another incident whereby a Namibian woman was sold by her uncle to traffickers in the UK. A local television station recently aired the heartbreaking story of a Kenyan woman who was trafficked into Namibia for sexual exploitation. Last week, I also learned about the story of a Namibian woman in the UK who was sold by her uncle to traffickers in the United Kingdom a few years ago. Firstly, she was sold to somebody in South Africa. And then from South Africa, she was trafficked to Italy. She contracted HIV AIDS virus. And she's still in the UK right now, fighting for her life. It was a heartbroken story when we were told that she was indeed, through trafficking, infected with the HIV AIDS the National Council will early next year embark upon creating public awareness on the issue through its current programs.